Hi, today I'm gonna show you how to knit this cable color front open cardigan. Let's get started. Okay, guys, first of all, please check my description box for all the details. I put a few links below, such as my website. You can go there and download my written pattern and other things if you need. So this is open front, front open, whatever, long cardigan, just above my knee. The length itself, it's up to you. You can, you know, knit shorter version. Go ahead. All right. I use three skeins to finish this project. Okay. And this project, the key component is cable design knitting. Okay. It's beautifully done. Both front piece all the way up around the neck. So the color and front, you have to do this beautiful cable knitting, which means if you don't have any patience to do cable knitting that long, you can use just a regular ribbon or garter stitch instead. It's really up to you. Now, let me talk about this cable design. Cable design itself, 26 stitches. Okay, and I add two stitches each side. Just the, you know, the ribbon, knit one and purl one, something like that. And that wideness is about four inch. I knitted it my swatch. 26 stitches with my swatch was six inch, quite long. However, okay, the because of the cable design, it will shrink a bit. So first, you have to knit swatch and just think, you know, how wide that will be for 26 inch. Okay, again, as I said, because of the cable knitting, it will be shrinked. Okay, so please make sure how wide you want. And if you want wider front, you have to add a little bit more ribbon each side. And I'm happy with 26 stitch plus two and two. So I'm going to go for it. Okay. So one more thing I want you to make a plan before you start knitting is how long you want around your neck. Okay. What do you mean by that? So I want you to decide how wide open your neck. So from the uh, front raglan line, okay, go around and the other side of the uh, front raglan line. I want you to decide how wide you want. I decide about 16 inch to start. That will be your base for neck opening. Okay. Another word, I will start kneading around the color part, around your neck. Okay, there. And then whenever you hit your desired length, means cover your neck, okay, I'm going to knitting up stitches to make base stitch. I will talk about this okay uh, more detail later so don't worry about it just 
watch this video until the end. Okay, again, if you don't like a cable knitting, you don't have to. You can do ribbon or garter stitch. All right, so this is the yarn I used. Let's cast on. Cast on number should be 26, everybody same, plus your desire rib stitches. For me, 26 plus 2 plus 2 equal 30 stitches. And I'm using scrap yarn to make cast on. If you don't like that idea to transfer all the stitch later on because of the cable knitting, don't use the uh, scrap yarn. Okay? And now I put the, uh, the marker. This is just for you. I'm going to remove those marker later on because I don't like using a uh, marker. But I just want to make sure outside of the uh, marker is rib stitch. Okay? So, the wrong side that I have to start, so the, uh, the outside of the, uh, the design on wrong side is pearl one to start. So, here, the prep pro wrong side, pearl one and knit one to start. There you go. This is not in the pattern. The pattern is only for 26 stitches. There we go. And slide the marker. And now prep row starts. And this is quite, you know, straightforward. Need three to start. And after you did 26 prep row, you know, again, outside is coming. And last two stitch will be knit one and pearl one. So please make sure, okay? The written pattern is only for cable knitting, 26 stitches. There you go. So knit three to end for the uh, cable design. Then slide the marker and knit one and pearl one. After that, okay, outside of the, uh, the cable design, you just knit over knit and pro over pro stitch. So you don't really have to worry about it. Okay? So just be careful on the first row. So row number one, right side. Okay? So outside of the marker, knit over knit and pro over pro. There we go. Pearl two to start. Pearl two. And T3B, cable knitting kicks in right away. T means pearl involved. Okay? So twist three back. So pick up one stitch with cable needle and hold it back. The cable needle goes to back. Okay? Remember, picking up less stitch count. Okay? with twist cable. So one and back. Now you have to knit two on left needle. One and two. Then come back to cable needle, then purl. Okay? This is T 3B. Then, purl 5. And next is C6B. Start with C means only knitting cable. Okay? So, let's do that. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So you have to pick up 3 stitches with cable and C6B. So hold it at the back. Then knit 3 on left needle. Come back to cable needle and knit 3 on cable needle. This is cable 6 back. And after that, pro 5. Then T3. 
front. T3F would be coming. Okay, twist. T means pro involve. And the back needle has to be less and pro. That's the rule. So this time, the cable needing a cable needle has to be front, means more stitch. Three divided by two is two and one, right? So front cable needle front. So you have to pick two stitch and hold it out front. Then back needle you have to purl. So purl one on left needle. Then come back to cable needle. Then knit two. Okay. Did you get that? It, it more common. So you probably know the rule. Okay. And purl two at the end. Then after the the cable design, just knit over knit, purl over purl stitch, and. I only show you how to knit, okay, on whenever, you know, the new technique kicks in. So I meet you at row number three. You know, row number two is just straightforward. So don't worry about it and meet you row number three. Okay, so only Whitson cable design. Row three, pro one to start and T3B. With the uh, cable needle, pick up one stitch and hold it at the back. The cable back, one stitch less. And then knit two from left needle. Then come back to cable needle and purl one. The back needle always purl and less stitch. And purl four. After that, T5B, same rule, one stitch less if the cable needle goes back. So T5B, B means back, so one stitch less. Five divided by two is only three and two. So there you go, picking up two stitch with cable needle, then hold it at the back. The back needle always purl, which means you have to knit first. So one, two, three. Knit three from left needle and come back to cable needle and this one purl. Okay, purl two. This is T5B twist 5b and right after that t5 f f means the cable needle come out front which means more stitch one stitch more means pick up three stitch and hold it front then back needle always purl so purl two from left needle come back to cable needle this time cable needle is out front so knit three that's it so did you get the rule if you don't just follow my written pattern you're never gonna make a mistake then pro four t three f twist three f the needle come out front so pick up two right then hold it out front purl one on left needle because it's a back needle then come back to cable needle and knit two on cable needle then purl one at the end all right and next clip 
I'm gonna show you how to do T5B and T5F once again to make sure. All right, so don't worry about it. Let's do that together. First, T5B. Twist 5B. B means the cable needle, hold it at the back, so less stitch. So picking up two and hold it at the back. And knit three from left needle, then back needle, which means purl. So purl two on cable needle. Okay, and next T5F. Picking up three on cable needle and hold it out front because T5F. So purl two on left needle, come back to cable needle, then knit three. Purl always on the behind needle. Okay? Now, next row is row number six. Okay? So this is outside of the marker. Here comes row number six. Purl two to start. This row is quite easy, except the uh, make a bubble. So knit one. Now MB, which means make a bubble. All right? So first of all, knit front and back and still don't drop the uh, stitch off then come back to front and knit you create total of three stitch then turn around and this is right side so knit three one two three then turn the project go back to wrong side and knit three one two three then turn again and this is right side okay and knit three make a bubble row is wrong side so wrong side let's make a bubble for finally okay yarn back okay yarn back slip one purl wise it's a little bit tough so just take your time knit two together there we go and pssl pass the slip stitch over okay I made three stitch out of one stitch, so now I decrease. All right? And then after that, need two, pro three, it, it, straight forward, right? And let's talk about next make a bubble. It's quite easy, okay? Increase, then go a stitch, then make a bubble, decrease, all right? Let's do that. First, knit front, back, front. You don't drop the, uh, the stitch off until you create three stitch. And then turn around. This is right side. Knit three. Three, you just create, you know? three and turn around go back to wrong side and knit three and one more knit three so turn around then next on the wrong side make a bubble yarn back slip one purl wise 
knit two together and then slip stitch over pass the uh, slip stitch over then I just create the uh, bubble then let's finish this row knit one purl two and outside of the, uh, the design which is knit one and purl one so I create two bubbles on wrong side right can you see there's the uh, the bubble right it's a little bit hard to see that's okay all right you just have to push to the uh, the right side later on that's it okay that's about it like that and you know it's kind of you know go back and forth but you just push that out later okay you don't have to worry about it you know while you're knitting okay okay so i show you every single key stitches this cable design complete on row number 12 and you just have to repeat from row number one to row number 12 until your desired length and you must finish row number 12 okay you hit desired length and finish on row number 12 all right and next clip i hit my desired length okay 16 inches and that's gotta be my color okay there we go 16 and i'm gonna tell you one more time you have to finish on row number 12. i'll tell you reason why soon and i just want to make sure okay this desired length from front raglan line to the other front raglan line so this cable design has to long enough has to be long enough around your neck if you want to go longer go ahead if you want to go smaller go ahead it's really up to you for me 16 inches okay there we go that's how you you know decide how big you want it i just want to show you yeah it's going to be like that and then you still have to do the uh, cable knitting this time from both side okay so after row number 12 obviously go back to row number one right so finish row number one and then meet you there there you go i just finished the uh, row number one now i have to knit up make sure remember the 30 stitches for me that's going to be all front part, right? So after row number one, I am going to knit up right on the edge. Okay. What I did is um, knit four stitch up next to each other and then skip one stitch space then repeat so knit four up and skip there you go so what i just did okay i knit up two and then add marker right because those two stitch would be okay my front stitch 
besides the uh, cable because I have to, you know, uh, increase from now on. So um, I just add. I'm going to tell you one more time. After row number one, I need up two. Then I add marker. Those two stitch after the row number one will be my front piece. And just knit up, knit up four, and skip one, knit up four, skip one. As many as you can. And when you hit the bottom of this, you know, the cable scarf, which where you made the, uh, the cast, okay? Now you have to transfer all the cast on stitch onto your left needle, okay? If it's tough, you can transfer with the uh, right needle and then transfer back onto left needle. And this was a little bit tough to do. And if you don't want to use the uh, scrap yarn, you don't have to. But you have to knit up with right needle and count as row number one. Because both sides has to be on the same row for cable design. You know what I'm saying? But I use the uh, scrap yarn to make a cast, right? So now I have to do row number one for this side of the uh, cable. You know what I'm saying? And I just want to make sure first two and last two total of four stitch will be just a ribbon, right? So I am going to put um, the marker to divide the 30 stitch, which is cable, you know, uh, design including the uh, four, you know, the ribbon. Because, you know, I have to actually add marker to stitch after. So anyway, let's finish row number one on this side. Which, you know, the pattern um, you have to just follow. Okay? And then see what's really going on. All right? And after this, I have to divide by five parts. And let me explain. First and last 30 stitches will be cable design. Okay? That will be my front, front piece. All right? And then two stitch. Right after the uh, the cable design and right in front of the, uh, you know, cable design to both sides. That will be the uh, front body. And in between those markers, I have 70 stitches. Okay? And 70 divided by 4 is 17.5. So I take 17 stitch. Next 17 stitch would be my sleeve. You know what I'm saying? And rest of the part would be my back. So you have to add markers like that. Okay? So 17 stitch for both sides, my sleeve, and rest of the stitch would be my back. So let's turn the project there we go. Now you're facing to wrong side. And do you remember we just finished row number one, right? For each cable. So now you're on row number two of cable design. So you just, you know, um, finish this row number two. Okay, this is the reason why both cable uh, raw, raw has to be same raw because, you know, if it's different raw, um, it's kind of, you know, confusing, right? And after the uh, cable design, on wrong side, all pearl, no increasing. 
Okay, this blue marker is not the raglan line. Okay, and there's two stitch after the marker. This is the raglan line. So please don't get confused. Okay, the front body start with two stitch. Don't count cable design as a, you know, front body. That's a front front, like a bottom, you know, hole area, rib, okay? So now, let me make sure about it, okay? So you're on right side. You're looking at the right side, okay? First, last 30 stitch will be cable. No increase in there, okay? And then... The blue marker is just to indicate uh, the finishing or starting cable design. And four orange marker would be the raglan marker. You know what I'm saying? Okay, those orange four markers on right side, I have to increase two stitch at every single raglan line. So total of eight stitch, I am going to increase. And other than that, just on it, except the, uh, the cable design. And wrong side, same. All pearl, except the uh, cable design, no increasing. So here comes, okay? This is row number three, almost end of the cable design, okay? Increasing starts. Knit until one stitch before the raglan marker. And then you have to pick up the stitch, the right side of the stitch in previous row and hook on to left needle, then knit then knit original one this is make one right and then slide the marker now left side of the marker so i'm gonna do make one left you can pick up left side of in previous stitch so knit original one first and two stitch down left side of the uh, stitch you have to pick up like that. And then knit back loop. This is make one left two. And you just knit all the way to next raglan marker, but you gotta stop one stitch before, right? This increasing technique, I'm not using running thread. I'm using the thread in previous stitch. Here it comes. So make one right, okay? The one below. There you go. That's the one. Pick up, hook on to left needle, and then knit one. This is make one right, okay? However, left side, you can pick up left side of the stitch. So knit one and then pick up left side of the uh, stitch two down eh? and then knit this is make one left okay so you do exactly same thing at every raglan marker okay and finish the uh, cable design the other side and row number two easy and repeat row number one and row number two until your desired length for sleeve, okay? And I did quite a bit already, okay? Long raglan line, and this is good enough for me. So I am going to separate the uh, sleeve. You have to make sure the sleeve raglan line marker has to meet underneath of your armpit okay that's enough 
length. So please be careful. And separate the sleeve. You should do this on right side. Any row you want, but right side. So finish the uh, cable design and just knit all the way to the uh, sleeve marker. Then transfer. You know what I'm saying? And you do exactly the same thing. Okay, here it comes. This is the first sleeve raglan line marker. I just remove it. And with tapestry needle and scrap yarn, I am going to transfer all the sleeve stitch, which is until next raglan line marker. Here it comes. And then remove the marker. And tie the knot for the uh, sleeve. And don't use the, uh, the stitch holder because, you know, this way, you know, flexible. So easy to, you know, knit after that. And if you want to try it on, you can, right? And I have to add new cast. That's going to be under my armpit. Four stitch to eight stitch would be ideal. And I'm going to add eight new cast. You got to remember this number, okay? Eight new cast. About inch or two inch, you know, or Okay? Then start knitting back piece. This is connecting front and back. All right? So no more knitting for sleeve for a little while. Okay, you have to finish the body first. So knit all the way to the next regular line marker and do exactly the same thing. There we go. That's sleeve. That's sleeve as well. So I connect with new cast. If you want, you know, the body get bigger, you can add more cast. It's up to you. Okay. So now let's finish the uh, the body part. Same thing, just no increasing anymore. Okay? Just keep knitting and knitting and knitting and knitting. There you go. And when whenever you hit the uh, desired length, okay? Keep the design. Keep the uh, cable design and in between those markers, I add uh, the rib, knit one and purl one rib, because otherwise at the very bottom, it will curl up, right? So just repeat of knit one and purl one until the other side, and then keep the cable design. And you just, you know... Um, Add ribbon until your desired length and then bind off. Oh, and by the way, I didn't change the needle. I usually use the a smaller needle for rib, but I didn't because I didn't want the rib to shrink a bit. Okay, so after you hit the desired length for rib, just bind off. If it's knit stitch, you can knit. If it's purl stitch, you can purl and then bind off. Easy. Okay. Almost done. We're going to do sleeve. I already did one side. Okay. I connect it. And then do a little math and decreasing little by little. And then add rib. That's it. Okay, so first of all, I have to connect. The connection part is, you know, fun, but a little complicated. Okay, so I add eight new casts there, right? Which I have to knit up. 
create the, uh, the, the stitch because, you know, there's no stitch, right? However, if I start knitting, knitting up from the last, you know, original stitch, there's going to be a big gap. Think about it, right? That side too. So I don't like the big gap around near the armpit area. Okay, so I try to minimize that gap to knit up two extra there and there. Okay, besides the new cast part. And when, when you knit up two extra for each side, I will end it up decrease to close the gap. Okay, that's my plan. So first of all, please add one clip-on marker just before the last original stitch. That indicates, okay, decreasing starts. Okay, so this, you know, adding marker would be crucial because sometimes you get confused. Okay, so the marker and last original stitch. And right after that, I am going to knit up two extra. Okay, that's the new cast starts. So in between that, here, there's two running thread that you can see, those two. Okay, that's the little divider, one running thread. But if I pick running thread like that, there's big gap still. You can see, see, right? So you pick one more stitch anywhere just like you know make one left you know the previous stitch left side something like that and then grab that top running thread there you go i actually pick up three it's up to you okay so two running thread and one stitch from the previous there you go that makes that gap smaller. And past that little divider and those this running thread, again, maybe one down and one more. It's really up to you. If you're not going to knit up from quite, you know, far away, that, that's a little bit different. But, you know, around there, you can, you know, do that. So, knit up two extra now. And then now you knit up right on the other, uh, the, right on the, uh, the eight new cast. So, let's start. So, that's the first new cast. And I am going to add begin marker right in the center of new cast. So, I add eight. Then marker, which means new cast should be multiple of two, right? And then I'm going to knit up another four. However, last new cast stitch, so I just knit up three, right? I'm going to add one more clip, this time temporary clip, which indicates decreasing starts later okay so i have to knit up one more stitch from the new cast right total of eight so if you have a marker it's a little bit tough to knit up but just take your time okay so now i knit up eight then there we go after that you have to knit up two extra again there's two running thread this one and this one and same as before two or three thread there we go i did three this time i think because of the the, the yarn you know i usually need up with the uh, two thread but 
two thread creates still, you know, bigger hole. So I decide to uh, use three thread to knit up like that. Okay? So knitting up around the armpit area has done. So now you knit until the first marker, which is red for me, indicator of decrease in starts, right? So just keep knitting. This is still uh, the sleeve connection, okay? And when you hit red marker, I'm going to decrease. Here it comes. Okay, so yellow one, that's the right in the center of the uh, new cast. That's a biggie mark. Okay, uh, red and green is the uh, decreasing indicator. Okay, so remove the red and then now SSK. The first stitch will be the uh, last original stitch, right? And second stitch will be the uh, the first extra stitch, SSK. And then next two stitch, the second extra and first new cast stitch, knit two together. There we go. I increase two extra here and I just decrease two stitch. So it's even this side and knit past the beginning marker and knit until next marker, the green marker, and remove the marker, okay? Next stitch will be last new cast and the third extra stitch, SSK, to decrease. And this one, fourth extra and first original stitch. Knit two together. There you go again. This side, I increase two and now I decrease two stitch. So it's even. All right. And then, you know, the minimize the gap. Perfect. This is the connection of sleeve. Now, let's talk about the uh, decreasing. I want you to find three numbers. The current stitch count, for me, 67. And your goal stitch count, how many stitch you want, 36 stitch for me. Okay? You just wrap around your the, the wrist and count. That's it. And desire length before the rib starts, okay? So you kind of have to maybe wear and then measure. And for me, 14 inches. Okay, guys, so let's do a little math for the sleeve decreasing, okay? We haven't used the um, this gauge math template in this tutorial. So this is uh, pretty much first time. And here, in this red section, you have to input your swatch and gauge information. There we go. So I'm going to input mine here. My swatch was four inch by four inch. Four inch by four inch. And 17 stitch count, widths and four inch, and 23 rows, widths and four inch. Okay? And now here. Okay. First of all, I have to input um, my desired length to find out um, how many rows you have to knit. Okay. So read this section. Find out row count from the length. I know the length, 14 inches. And I want to find out the row count. So right here, I'm going to put the 14 inch. Okay. So 14 inch orange section. Let's go orange here. Okay. 
four inch my swatch desire length and this is the row count Whitson four inch what about 14 inch 80.5 so I have to knit at least 80 rows to reach 14 inch okay so this is not done yet and now the pink section I have to input sleeve current stitch count 67 and goal stitch count 36 and everybody saying decrease two stitch on the same row so two there we go and let's go down pink purple section here okay the row count you will need i will knit is 80.5 total decrease 31 which is 67 minus 36 okay and the stitch decrease on the same row i said everybody same two and here how often you decrease 5.19 so i would say every fifth row i have to decrease two stitch that's how you use so every fifth row so um, two decrease right on the uh, fifth row 10th row 15th row 20th row something like that okay until you hit your desired length and goal stitch count okay so when you find out how often you have to decrease you just knit until your decreasing target row for me every fifth row okay so just keep knitting no decreasing no nothing okay until the target row for me fifth row and meet you there so this is end of fourth row and now i'm going to fifth row right after that right after the uh, past the uh, begin marker i am going to decrease right away so past the begin marker knit one and then knit two together okay i decrease one stitch and i told you i'm going to decrease two stitch right so just knit until last three stitch okay super easy so knit until last stitch this is end of fifth row right still fifth row knit until last three and then this time you need to do ssk slip slip knit one stitch down and then knit that's it and now first row starts and you keep knitting and decreasing until you hit your desired length and desire stitch count for your wrist okay there you go i just did and because my uh, the sleeve stitch count was uh, odd number so i have to you know adjust number here there you go i actually decrease one more and change the needle and add in the uh, rib which is repeat of knit one and purl one by the way i usually use knit one and purl one that doesn't mean you know you have to okay uh, you can do knit two and purl two however if you want to use knit two purl two rib you have to have multiple of four stitch count okay so just you make ribbon until your desired length and then bind up but this is for your wrist so i am going to use the uh, stretchy bind off i uh, have to use the uh, tapestry needle so cut the end tail a little longer first of all purl two together and then knit the first one then drop the first stitch off and when you bind off don't pull 
the uh, the yarn too hard okay if you do it's gonna be tight okay I want to do stretchy bind off so kind of loosely okay not too too loose just loosely okay I should say don't pull too hard that's about it that's about it okay I wear this on top of my pajamas there's no button so it's relaxed cozy and warm okay I really like this top thank you for watching if you have any question leave the comment below okay enjoy knitting bye for now